So like we said, uh, when we last left off, that I was ready to go into Daisy's. And Daisy's has been going uh, nowhere, because that's where we left off. And I'm kind of a potato. So currently we have an ambulance chaser and we got to go to Artichoke's Neckties in Elm Street. So right now there is no invasions, sadly, for ambulance chasers. So wherever we see one, we'll just kind of take it and hope that I don't have to go all the way to the burger again and almost die again. You never know. With me, it's almost always going to be I'm almost dead. Alright, so I need to go to Maple Street for this dude's necktie. Ooh, there's a good bit of law bots here. I should be able to... Oh, there we go! Found an ambulance chaser. I found another rabbit. They're so tiny. I think they also have tiny legs too, like uh, the modifier. Goofy. One thing you gotta do, no matter what, always be polite. Because, uh, this person may or may not, uh, eventually have to save my fucking life. Hopefully both don't target me. Okay. Even if that one targeted me, that's good, because then I have a chance to dodge this one. I gotta hope I dodge again. Okay, it only did five. Thank God. I was expecting it to do, like, fucking 12 damage to me. That was actually a pretty good joke. I like that one. Oh my god, the fucking thing is dodging me like Wesley Snipes dodges taxes. They dodging me like Vanoss Gaming dodges Mini Lad. Sprocket? Oh, is that what I needed? So I wasn't even a guaranteed drop. Ooh. I got real lucky then. <laughs> Wait, what now? I have to get a sprocket from backstabbers? Oh, fuck me, dude. That event just ended. I think it was Maple Street that had law bots as 70%. <laughs> no, please, he's chasing me down. No, go away. No. No. Oh, 
fuck? That's hilarious. Alright, level 6 backstabber. Let's attempt it. Hopefully none of the other cogs join in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> this is great. Damn it, I got this pinstripe suit. Small gag bag. Ooh, three last boosts. There we go. Alright, so I got an Oak Street. We're investigating Cellbot HQ. Three last point boost. Pretty solid. Still said that I have to get a sprocket from uh, Backstabbers. I'm not going to be able to find one for a hot minute. He's gonna be so confused. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it every time I see him. Oh. Fuck me, that's funny. <laughs> it's so dumb, but it's so funny. Alright, I'm just gonna fucking spray this fucking cog down. None of my throws have been going my way. They were earlier, and now it's nighttime, so like none of my throws are gonna go my way now. I'm just gonna start chucking all of them into the void. All right, nice, got a memo right off the bat. Oh man, <clears throat> I can say right now, I am not going to miss. <laughs> he saw me and ran away. <laughs> he saw me coming over the horizon, he's just like, oh fuck this. <laughs> Fucking turn back. <laughs> Alright, now I gotta go get another memo. And uh, I should have enough gags to to be able to handle it. Hopefully. That's the that's the whole hope, I suppose. Be able to go in, find a level four, murder it, and go back out. I will say one thing that I am looking forward to after I get through Cellbot stuff. Oh man. If I get through Cellbot stuff again, is going to 100% be. Um, being able to teleport back here. Uh, it's one thing I miss already off uh, Boozle, was being able to teleport to the different lobbies. It's like running back and forth was the worst. <clears throat> And one of my least favorite experiences of uh, grinding the suits, because it was like you'd ride the you ride the tram basically, uh, you do your sound through the factories, and then after you do your sound through the factories, you'd go fight the VP, and you would just keep repeating the process over and over and over again. Although I know for a fact. That I will never burden anybody by taking, like, my level 37 in there. Um, I refuse to be that kind of person. 
uh, because I know that is endgame content. Regardless of how early they give you the suit, they made that mistake once. And in the other suits, you had to fucking earn. These ones, it was just like, oh yeah, go through the factory like 12 times and you got a suit. And like, that's what you gotta do in the main story anyways, you gotta go through the fucking factory. So then, people with all these low tunes go in there and then, uh, they get mad because sometimes they get griefed. Uh, I believe we call it, uh, saddening? Here? Um, there might also be another term for it. Greening, that is it. It's called going green. Uh, when you green somebody, because that's what happens, your uh, icon goes sad, a aka green or whatever. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't want anybody to try and green me, obviously on this run, but uh, in general, I wouldn't want that. I'd rather go in, know that I have like fogs at the minimum, and then everything else doesn't really matter. You just need basic tune-ups and fogs. And other than that, I think you're perfectly okay. Because it doesn't matter your sound, as long as you have your three fogs and your three elephant, or your seven elephant horns, uh, you can hush out the rest of what you guys need to do for your team. But overall, that's pretty much all you gotta do. You just sound through, you get it done. Um, obviously, if you have higher levels and you don't have people with sound, uh, you can always do traps and lures. You can do water and drops. Because apparently, like I said, I don't know the proper testing method of how this has worked or um, if it even works. Of where hitting something with water increases the accuracy of drop. Just, you know, one of those things. Yeah, that's a multi-boxer. So basically what my uh, multi-boxers do is uh, they they have two of the same character. And they do the same thing on both screens all at the same time. And um, essentially make sure that each other stays alive throughout it. So what they do is they'll rush tune-up as their first. Uh, and then the other one will also pretty much just be the exact same. And they'll run sounds, they'll run throws, see, like, they don't even really use Squirt, because Squirt's fucking terrible. Especially compared to a lot of the other stuff. Here we go. So let's take a look. So it's Overclock, Dopamine, looks like Godzilla, Hybrid Safe House, Serotonin Specimen. Yeah, these are all the multi-boxers. Alright. So yeah, one person's literally running eight accounts right there. Or eight tunes. And then what they're gonna do is they're gonna go and challenge the the boss with 80 HP. That's pretty good, especially if all of them have uh, sound maxed or pretty close to maxed. Allows for ease of access of clearing. The hardest part, honestly, is probably going to be uh, managing that many bots with throwing the pie into the bottom and then also uh, pelting the pies up top. Oh fuck, why did I throw that? I meant to do two squirts, but whatever. I'm trying to get my squirt caught up again, like I said. My brain's a little melted right now. Alright, we'll be in the 40 laugh now. Oh, you know what I forgot to do that I need to do after I do uh, this and turn this task in? I need to go get my silly meter. I completely forgot about it. Because I gotta hope that, uh... There's something good on there. Hopefully, like, sound double. Or, like, fishing or something. Sorry if I seem a little distracted, I pretty much am. Oh, fuck. 
I forgot, now I have to actually be on the trolley. Alright, so the second I get on the trolley, we're gonna go get this done, and then immediately it's gonna cut to me being finished and having a silly meter. Three, two, one, and cut. There's times like this when I go down this road and there's like no cogs up here. Always hurts my soul. It takes forever to find one. Because of how much is conjunctured on the screen, it's really hard to find cogs sometimes. Honestly, I should have done the flunkies uh, and practiced my sound. But... Uh, I'm already basically just prepping my sound runs for um, when I do factories and cell bots, so I'll eventually get those le uh, leveled. Lure is probably going to be the hardest one for me to realistically knock out, because it's, it's going to be one of the later ones that I level. Plus, it's going to be one of those things that I want to level with people. Like, it's why a lot of people multibox. Is people want to have the ability to just be self-reliant. Because you can't really trust other people. Or you can't blame other people for things that happen. Especially if they're um, shenanigans that happen because of insert reason here. Like... Oh, their, their trap didn't work, or their lure didn't work, because traps always hit. Um, their lure didn't work, so it got me killed instead of killing it, because the trap would have killed it. Kind of stuff, so I didn't have an, an ability to have a tune-up. Which is why I like running in parties of three uh, when I'm training gags and stuff. So, uh, this whole playthrough is going to be like really struggle boss, unless I find other people uh, for lures and for... Unlucky, I still need one more. Uh, for lures and for traps. Uh, and then tune-up. Tune-up's real easy. You can just run around during a double invasion in the most popular district. Find somebody. Pass on everything uh, when they're at full health and then just heal them whenever they get take damage. Basically just AKA heal bots. That's what I like to call them. Alright, so that's all done. Now I can go back. And I think I get my silly meter now. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Goofy Speedway. It's one of my favorite activities to do during the Grand Prix stuff. You just can win trade with people, or you can just be a uh, complete Chad. Uh, I don't want to take one that takes forever. Yeah, three minutes is pretty amped. Oh, I gotta go get a cart. The one thing that I used to do with all my winnings is I would uh, buy all the, the most expensive stuff to throw on. I used to, I had the roadster. I want the roadster again. I hate this ugly little thing. Here we go, three minutes. I hope it doesn't have to be a paid, uh, paid thing for uh, my two task, otherwise it's gonna be a long, another 10 minutes between load screens, actual race, and everything else. Uh, it says three minutes to qualify. I could probably knock this out within two and a queue. Yeah, and then sometimes when you hit stuff like that, it just dead stops you. Other times, like, you'll see me, like, hard uh, pacing around the track and, like, bumping up against the wall with, like, no issues. Like that. 
I bumped into it really hard. I still kept momentum. Yep. 20 tickets for qualifying. Woo. And then back to town we go. If hopefully I get my silly meter and I don't have to do any other stupid bullshit. Just sick. Doodle trick bonus are terrible. Global teleport access, whatever. But we have our silly meter now. Hooray. And there's double squirt experience. On top of doing double of anything is going to be magnificent. And hopefully uh, that's what becomes the winner. Because honestly, the other two are terrible. The other two are doodle tricks, which again, doodles absolute dog shit. And then global teleport access? Who cares? You can get that through tune tasks. So now, I need to get another tune task and then head on back to the beautiful Daisy Gardens. <laughs> 